Hello, today is Friday, May 1st, and joining me is the mayor of Newport, Dan Lund. Thank you for joining me today, Dan. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. So with COVID-19, what is the general operation at the city of Newport? Well, the the critical sur city services are continuing as, as normal. Uh, we, have, we have closed down uh, a number of um, facilities to the public in order to limit limit contact and the opportunity of uh, spreading the virus. So we have um, city halls operating as normally, except except we're keeping the public out. So if they need to connect with staff, they can do so by phone or email. And uh, unfortunately, we also closed the Newport Library to the public uh, just because it's a pretty small space and, and we're trying to do our part to limit the spread of COVID-19. And so how are public meetings like the city council being held right now? Oh, just like this. So we've had had two meetings through Zoom, and it's actually gone really well. Uh, the first one, we only had um, a closed session because we were talking about uh, litigation or potential litigation. But then the second one was open to the public, and we post the link to the Zoom meeting on the city's Facebook page about an hour before the meeting. And we had a few members of the public actually join and participate in the meeting. So uh, their video was on, and and uh, and and it worked really well. Uh, I think we can have up to 100 people, and that's more than we ever have at city meetings. So um, there's uh, an equivalent opportunity for the public to participate, and and I believe it was broadcast on SWCTC uh, as as normal. So it it worked really well, and and thanks to uh, folks at SWCTC with with handling handling the change. I know our staff uh, use your expertise a lot. Awesome. Well, I know that uh, public safety is still vital during this time. Mm -hmm. How are the fire department and sheriff's office operating while still remaining safe? Well, they're being more careful, but but when they're needed, they're there. Uh, mm -hmm. So they have their personal protective equipment, and uh, I think they're they're staying in separate vehicles to the extent possible. But uh, cer certainly, they're still working full time. We still have city patrols; they're still responding to calls, and and uh, they're just doing so as safely as possible given the circumstances. And how about public works? Yeah, yeah, very similar for public works. So all our public works staff is is still employed. Uh, probably the big difference is they're each staff person is using a separate vehicle when they're traveling around the city, so they're not in close contact with each other. Uh, they're getting real spread out during lunch, and I think they have two lunches instead of one to really limit the amount of people in the same space and and make sure they're they're well separated. But yeah, things are going going well for public works too. And is the new city hall and fire hall still on track for construction? Yes, the new city hall and fire hall is still on track for construction. Uh, the The good news is that interest rates have dropped. So the mm -hmm. overall cost of the city is actually expected to go down. And to the extent that other um, projects are pulling back, we may see some more favorable bids. Uh, this is a project that's been talked about for decades, and uh, at least since the 80s, I believe. And so the need is not going away, and this is actually an opportunity to provide the best value for mm -hmm. residents. So we're, we're um, at this point still moving ahead. Well, it's exciting that things are still happening. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the design process is, is moving forward well, and uh, it, yeah, it's definitely exciting. And is there any other information you would like people to know? Well, I'd just like to pass along a message of, of my appreciation for, for Newporters. I, I know it's very, very difficult and people are getting uh, frustrated with the, the stay at home order, but at the same time, we're seeing great compliance. I've seen more people out and about walking and you know doing their part to enjoy what we have in Newport. And I think that's wonderful. I, I know uh, with my family, we've been out walking a lot more than normal. And and, uh, and so I think people are doing an amazing job at, at doing their part to limit the spread. And I, I know it's difficult, but I encourage people to, uh, to keep doing that. And hopefully we'll continue to have some wonderful weather that makes it a little easier to, uh, to, to enjoy uh, the shelter in place order. Yeah, the fact that spring is finally here, it's it's really helping with uh, having to stay home. Well, I I, I certainly th think so on a personal level, and I, I've seen a lot of people more, more than normal uh, out and about walking, and, and uh, I know the dogs are loving this. So, uh, <laughs> you know, there are a few positives, and I understand people are, some people are getting, getting frustrated, but at the same time, 
we're doing a great job. So um, thank you to everyone who's who's participating and, and the update we're getting from the sheriff's office is that they've seen seen really no problems in Newport with, with people um, being as safe as they can and, and being responsible with this. That's really good to hear. Well, thank you for joining me today and I hope you and the rest of Newport stay safe and healthy. Well, thank you for that. And, and certainly thank you for uh, continuing public engagement during these uh, strange times. And, and I hope you and your family stay safe as well. Thank you.